for you. Okay. Hi, cutie. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, so we're actually working on a Polaris Sportsman. It's a little 90cc. Um, this one, I believe, is a 08. Um, needs a new battery, so that's what we're doing. And then we're going to do a coil, a rectifier, and a stator. Yeah, it sounds super difficult, but it's super easy. So, this style is for 01 to 06, where the pickup coil is attached to the stator itself. And this is the coil for an 01 to an 07 also. Well, this is the style for the newer ones, for the coil. And this is the stator. The pickup coil is actually separate, and I'll show you where that all connects. My dog's acting a fool. So, get your battery. If you've never done one of these before, it's not hard. Put it on a flat surface, pull this off, and that should give you to give you the acid solution to throw in there. Okay. Pull that off. Undo the black cap and dump it in there. And then you trickle charge it for a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and I'll be right back. Okay, so you got it open, you got that part off. Oh no, it's still sealed. You just push it down there and those will actually break. Hang on. It takes a little bit of force, but it will actually break and slowly drain into the battery. And then all I do, this actually goes back on. Um, it doesn't. It goes on the battery itself. And then I just have one of these little Harbor Freight guys. Um, I just plug it in, charge that, charge it with that. They work good. Charges them slow, but as you can tell, it drains in there super slow. Um, so we're gonna start pulling this apart. Obviously, you got to take this footrest out. This is a 90cc Polaris. Um, obviously, Sportsman 90. This is actually for my niece for Christmas. Um, so your stator is underneath this cap. Okay. Your coil is right there. And your rectifier is over here on the driver's side. That thing dangling right there. It actually bolts right here. I already put the new one on. It just unbolted it. It's got a little 10 mil on there. And then these four stroke oil. Oh, looks like we're drained. All right, hang on. When you're working with batteries, battery acid, gloves are your friend. If you do get battery acid on you like I did, you can actually see it, the little center spot. Water neutralizes it, so dump some water on it and, and hope you don't get burned, I guess. Um, but we're going to go ahead and pull this off. It's just a bunch of little 8 mils around there, so I'm going to yabba dabba do those right off. Okay, you get that cover off, and there is your flywheel. So that's a 17 mil. We're just going to zing that off. And uh, and this, you just kind of, you can use a two or three jaw puller or something. We're just gonna pull it off. Um, sometimes you have to tap around that cover; it gets kind of stuck on there sometimes. So just get it off there, and when you pull that off with a, I use a little impact. Pulls right off. So now we're going to pull that guy off. Use a puller of some sort, and uh, I'll be right back. If you don't have a puller, um, you can be super cheap, but be super careful when you do this. Stick a little claw hammer down in here, 
and you can pull it right off. But you gotta be super careful. You don't wanna ruin anything. All right, so here's your flywheel. All right, now I'm gonna clean this oil up because we're gonna seal this up here shortly. But this is held on by two eight mils right there and two eight mils on the pickup coil. So go ahead and pull those off and put the new one on there. I'll be right back. So on this cover, you have two different size bolts. Two long ones on the front and then the rest are all short. So we didn't get a gasket. Um, so, and this didn't have a gasket on there. It was just sealant. So we're just gonna use sealant. We're gonna take this time and uh, actually run a bead on there. Let it set a little bit while we're putting this new stator and pickup coil in. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna use ultra black. Always, always a good option. So that's what I'm gonna do quick and we'll be right back. All right, so we got a nice little bead on there. So now I'm gonna pull these four eight mil bolts off and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, that new shiny one is on there. So now we're gonna take our flywheel and it is keyed. The key right there. Right there. So you can't screw this up. It's going to eventually sit in there. Alright, I'm going to use both hands to do this. Okay, and you're at that point, you're like, oh my god. What do I do? What do I torque that to? Okay, there's actually a torque spec. I don't use it. Um, I give it what you would call a couple yabba dabbas or bugga duggas. She's on there, she ain't coming off. So now we're gonna put this cover back on. Remember, two long bolts go on the front there. So we're gonna put this on and I will be right back. Okay, so we ugga dugged that down and this harness. You just kind of fish over there to the other side underneath the exhaust so nothing gets burned. And it plugs into this guy right here. So we got it right there. Let me get both my hands. And we get a good solid connection. Okay, so now we're gonna do this coil. This guy right here. So there's only one bolt that holds the coil on. And it's right up there. Right up there. <coughs> and then there's a couple of wiring wiring con wiring <laughs> wiring connections on it. And uh, make sure you put them back in the same spot. I don't know if it matters, but I really don't want to find out. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got all that changed. All the new coil put back on. Um, I'm going to go over there and bolt up that rectifier quick. Again, it's just a little 10 mil. Batteries charging. These do have a kickstart too, but it's literally just right there. All right, so all that's done. So now we gotta put this back on, and it's just held in by a crap ton of little Phillips screws with a uh, eight mil on them and I got to figure out how much oil goes in this thing so I had five ounces so I 
I'm gonna say we're gonna start with 150 cc's and we'll go from there I'm gonna go ahead and get this put back on get this side piece put back on and then we're gonna install the battery put the battery charger back on it while it's in there um, and uh, see what happens so I'll get this put back together and I'll be right back. Alright, so we got this thing buttoned back up. Got both sides back on. Letting the battery charge a little bit longer. It took about a half a quart of oil. Um, and that's about it. <clears throat> I know this isn't normal for my channel, but I figured this was a special case, special situation. And, uh, I got a surprise for everybody, so stay tuned. It's uh, going to be pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited about it. I actually stumbled across it when I was hunting, so it's definitely cool. And it's old. So we'll do a couple special videos coming up. But from here, from me, from my family, Merry Christmas. Have a good one, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, share us. Deuces.